Welcome to Clickly Training Camp. We have learned how to set game rules and how to create a game map. This is our second class today. So, let's learn how to create a UI interface for our shooting game, which includes background images and text to introduce the game rules. And our goal is improving shooting games player experience from three different aspects. Interface, game rule introduction, scoreboard, fixed game camera. In our rules, players and enemies are split in two opposite factions. Enter the UI editor. Click plus icon and create a new panel which you can name Rules of the Game. This can help us quickly find the correct panel if you're gonna have too many others in the list. Let's choose a background image now. Drag the image into the Not section. Double click the background image under the Image Style option. Pick the background and adjust the size on the screen. Next, find text and drag it on the knot and put it under the image section. Then, type the rules into the frame and adjust the text style, color and size. Now, we have finished the UI interface, and you can add more cute images on the screen if you like. According to the game design, the interface will only last 3 seconds at the game start. Because we do not want the interface to block player's view during combat, we need to create a trigger to make this disappear effect. Let's go to Trigger Editor and click New Trigger. You will find 3 components of Trigger here, Event, Condition and Action. We can call them ECA for short. If the event is to turn on the light, the condition is to have electricity. The light will only come on when the conditions are met. Otherwise, the action will not be triggered. Let's see how this effect is achieved in ECA. Rename the trigger to Game Initialization. Add a new event and choose Game Initialization, which means this action will trigger at the beginning of the game. Next, we add a new action to make the interface disappear in 3 seconds. Choose Time Run Single Timer in the generic. Duration equals to 3 seconds. Add UI Hide Widget Animated under this action. Choose to hide the rules of the game interface from player 1. Secondly, let's make a scoreboard to give some feedbacks to players. Imagine if you don't have the current score while playing bowling. You lack the purpose and motivation to play it again. So, it's necessary to provide a scoreboard for players, to let them know the game result. Let's go back to the UI editor and create a new panel like before. Rename it to your score. We'll still need to drag the picture to the nodes. You can pick an image as your background in the image style. Put the scoreboard to the top left corner, which will also be displayed in the same position in the game.
change the text color to black, size 30. And remember to uncheck Visible on the left, which will prevent the interface to appear at the game start, because we want the scoreboard to show after the game rule disappear. Next, let's go back to the trigger editor. Under Action List of the Game Initialization Trigger, we add a new action and select UI Display Widget Animated. Show your score. In this way, we can make the game rules interface appear at the start and disappear after 3 seconds. Also, the scoreboard will come after it. Next, let's take a look on how to forbid the game camera movement. In the default game settings, camera will follow the mouse sliding. When the player is in the combat, it's easy to slide the camera out of the game perspective, which will greatly reduce game experience. So, it's necessary to set the camera to a fixed position and perspective. Click plus button to add a new action. Select Camera Forbid Camera Movement. Choose Player 1, which will not allow players to move their camera anymore. Bravo! This is the effect we want! That's it for our second class. See you next class!